थोड़ा बहुत हमको बताने के लिए वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद ही इज वरद श्रीवास्तव हु इज करेंटली परस्यूइंग हिज एम एस सी सेकेंड ईयर एट आई आई टी इन Yes, cognitive science. How are you, Arad? Oh, hi, Siddharth. Hi, everyone. I'm very good. Thank you. So, how is your time going? Uh, it's been online. So, you are pursuing second year right now, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like really hectic, and you like the fact that you don't have social interaction and. with your peers and everything it just makes the experience very bad you know there's lot to learn from peers and everyone else too except from the classes also so yeah we are just managing out here and just waiting for this wave to go by and we could go there and just you know interact with each other because that was a thought initially exactly i mean that's a very important part of studying and social life in general so how i mean everyone we would love to know how you reach here so what was your bachelor's in and how you co- come across uh, cognitive science yeah so i did my bachelor's from uh, in uh, in computer science from university of delhi and then i went on to specialize in ai at bhu then i was in bhu i did an internship at it jodhpur where i worked with edge computing devices and that's where i came to know that the convolutional neural networks that we are using right now have been essentially inspired by uh, huber and bezel's findings about the cat's brain and how the neurons are aligned in that place and different neurons in different regions are um, sensitive to different kinds of features in the images and videos like edges or orientation and that's where the convolutional neural networks are inspired from and that gave me an just a idea that all right so if we have to move forward the state of ai we need to look back at the brain and mind and we need to take insights from those and then uh, you know build better ai and apart from that like i have been greatly involved in theater during my college days and both as an actor and as a writer i used to always wonder how the audience perceives those who are on the stage or how the characters are moving how they are able to empathize with the characters and everything so when i read about it this at the time i came to know that there is a concept of mirror neurons and that uh, that's how people might be able to empathize and put themselves in the shoes of the characters and in my last year while was while i was at bhu i was attending a human computer interaction conference and there i met some cognitive scientists including dr sapan gandhi from iit delhi and then I, then and that was when i came to know about this field i came to know that it this is there is this, this field called cognitive science and at that time i was continuing my work from iit jodhpur and was working with spike neural networks for energy efficient ai so uh, you know my interest in the working for the mind really spiked so and after i was uh, i completed that course i was still like setting for placements for data scientist roles and all but my mind was set in exploring uh, like i was i wanted to explore the mind and the brain and eventually i decided to try for cognitive science masters program and in between those two things i uh, got the opportunity to work on neural correlates of mentalizing and theory of mind so there is this team at university of montreal where i got this opportunity to work and i learned how the findings from these two could be instrumental in devising um, you know approaches to cure brain disorders like autism and while doing this project i really realized that okay this is where my heart lies and i should really pursue this and i have been studying cognitive science ever since this is amazing i mean how you were able to connect your uh, understanding of artificial intelligence and then the history of those concepts led you to the field and then again the interaction with tapan gandhi professor so uh, so through that you looked for cognitive science and how it is uh, in india at uh, academic level and then you came across cognjet yeah 
So uh, I was searching for like cognitive science programs all over in India. And then I came across the website of CPCS. And that's where I came to know about CogJet. And then I started preparing for it. Okay. And now comes the holy grail question, which everyone was asking me and bombarding me with. So uh, how did you prepare if there is something like that? for the entrance exam and I mean, following up, uh, how was your experience of the exam? Yeah, so answering the holy grail question. So during my year, there were two parts in the cognitive exam. The part one had questions uh, from maths, linear algebra, calculus, and probability, etc. And they had instructed in that document that these questions, the level of these questions would be on the lines of, uh, or on the level of, CAT exam and the second part would include questions from uh, actually included questions from psychology, philosophy and some aspects of cognition like memory, perception and learning and also linguistics. So how I prepared was I just went to the references that they had mentioned in that document and I took a brief overview of the topics. I didn't go too much deep into that because I had this intuition that uh, since this is such an interdisciplinary field and we are all coming from different backgrounds, they should they wouldn't be expecting someone to know uh, you know deep knowledge in all of these topics. So I just got a brief overview from the references. And afterwards, uh, when I, I I'd also written down the topics which are important, then I also watched the videos of those topics from YouTube and uh, Khan Academy and you know that kinds of tutorial videos. So that's how I prepared for the exam. For the part one, uh, I would say, uh, like, I had practiced maths a lot. So practice is the key. And that was really, that really turned out to be helpful in the exam because I was pretty confident solving those questions. And yeah, that's how I prepared. And your, and during your year, it was MCQ based paper, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. 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 And then after, I mean, after you get your CogJet score, you individually apply to different institutes. Yeah, so I applied to CVCS, IITK, and IITD. And uh, so, should I tell about the interviews? Please? Yes, 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 please. I mean, how was your experience yeah. with the interviews? Yeah, so the interviews went well overall, and especially is the CVCS and IITD one. And a common thing that I noticed among all the interviews was that they listen about your interest and what actually got you into cognitive science, how you came to know about the field. And then they build upon it and ask deeper questions about that, uh, about those topics and about your interest. And for IIT Delhi interview uh, specifically, they focused a lot on whole approach thing. They gave all sorts of problems to me and they we're figuring out how would I approach them. So I was in this panel, which was more computationally uh, sided one. It, matlab, matlab computational jada tha usme. So they, maybe they had divided uh, two panels based on what kind of background the students have. So I was asked questions from a computational uh, perspective. So for, for example, what are neural networks and uh, there was this question about uh, there's a U-shaped learning curve uh, while infants are learning language and how would I proceed to modeling it and then, then I gave an answer in terms of uh, reinforcement learning and how, could, uh, how it could be used to model this sort of observation in infant language learning. So they, were, they focused a lot on all these approaches. There was also one, uh, there's, uh, one question where I was asked how would I integrate visual and auditory streams computationally. So there were these kinds of questions and there was no fixed answer to them. I could just be creative and uh, as much as I wanted to be. And they were really looking out for creative approaches uh, to all these problems. Amazing. And any advice would you like to give for someone who is preparing for cognitive or for interview? If how can they, you know, strengthen their uh, learning? Yes. Yeah, so uh, I would briefly point out a few things. So 
first thing you should first and foremost thing you should do is you should keep your interest and concepts clear for example if i am in, if i got interested in mirror neurons i should know where and how it was found that uh, such kinds of neurons exist what was the study and how uh, how uh, the scientists are perceiving these kinds of results so i should be knowing that in depth because they would ask these questions when you are talking about your interest and how you came to know about cognitive science because this is such a new field and so and there's so less information all over the internet that they don't expect you to know all things but they expect you to know those things in depth which you are telling them that uh, which you are telling them that you are interested in so first and foremost be clear in those concepts and about your interest uh, what uh, what you interested in this field secondly be confident and creative so this has helped me a lot i was really confident in whatever answer i gave in and uh, even in few answers i was like totally not sure so i used to be like okay let, let me just uh, speak out loud my thoughts so like just let it out <laughs> whatever was in my uh, mind when uh, the question was asked and i was really confident about it and i just let myself be as creative as well so even though the interview time was decided for around 15 to 20 minutes my last day to around 40 40 45 minutes and there was this uh, indication that oh, all right i was sent the only one that was enjoying the interview the other person the uh, panelists were also enjoying it as well so in my opinion that should uh, that 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 is how interview should be like right because uh, it shouldn't be like they are asking some questions and you are just answering and remembering okay ye cheez is saal mein hui thi and i should tell them it should be a really kind of interaction from both sides so after the interview was done i was really uh, happy how it went and this is an indicate like if you're really enjoying the interaction this is an indicator that okay it's going pretty well amazing i think uh, there have been mentions of some amazing valuable points there for everyone who is applying this year and lastly uh, if and when people get through and they are heading to iit delhi uh, your probable uh, super juniors <laughs> so any advice to them uh, about iit delhi and how your experience has been yes so if you are really inter- interested in enter this pretty work for example you 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 would like to combine different fields like ai and cognitive science it's really nice place to be but uh, like all the places you have to make efforts on your own to really get those collaborations and you know reach out to people by yourself because no one is going to come to you and say okay work with me you you have to figure out your interest there is a course curriculum you go through it and then you also explore on your own time you talk to people you talk to your seniors and you figure out bunch of your interests it's really not possible to get down to that one interest that you have to follow all through life even people keep changing interest after post docs or phd's so it's it's not possible at all and you shouldn't be really aiming for that but a bunch of interest would really do you good and then you could look for opportunities and topics of uh, research or interest in those kinds of uh, sub fields or sub subjects and you could reach out to people for collaborations and you could tell them about your ideas and they they could figure out the collaborations on their own also so you have to make efforts uh, that i would like to suggest even like you shouldn't be thinking like if i got here i would get everything so yeah that that's amazing so it's important to have that initiative uh, mind frame so to to take yeah, initiatives right. to reach out to people to talk to seniors and to faculty members that was amazing right, thank right. you so much for your time varad i know i mean it's been a busy hectic schedule for you being the last semester and thank you so much for your time it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you and we hope to yeah, see same. you in the campus <laughs> if that <laughs> happens in this semester that would be amazing yeah yeah i was hoping for that too
and it's been a pleasure for me too. Thank you for having me. Here. Sure. All the best to all those watching this video.